if you're looking at a computer processor, right, you basically have like something that's like an i9, an i7, an i5, or an i3, okay. right? Okay. And then the the i9 is like the tip top of the the computer world right now, right? Yeah. i9 is as fast and strong as you can get, and i3s are basically at the bottoms, right? So you, you know how when a computer talks about how many cores it has, like oh it's you know 64 core, 32 core, or whatever, right? Yeah. Eight or whatever, some shit like that, right? Um, they're talking about like their their uh, processors, right? So when a computer chip is made, one of these processor chips, they're all made like basically identically. But when these cores fail, like they they're made with a certain amount of cores, right? And uh, when if uh, if all of the cores are working, you have an i9. It's perfect, right? That's what it is. It's an i9. It's good. It's nothing's wrong with it or it has very 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 minimal problems but as there's the cores on there die like say you have 25 percent of them die it goes from an i9 and then they just sell it as an i7 because you know so many are are, are dead the computer still works or that yeah. chip still works it's just at a reduced efficiency right and then say 50 percent of the cores are dead right and i don't know if these numbers are accurate or not yeah. but i'm just saying for example 50 percent are dead then okay hey that's going to be an i5 yeah. right and then if 70 percent of them are dead then you're there you go now you're going to have an yeah. i3 yeah. right and that's how they that's how they sell these chips 